Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the typing program called typing.com. It's a web-based program and all you have to do to get to it is go to typing.com and once you get to the web page you'll select teacher login. When you click teacher login you can select login with Google. You'll select your email address if you need to, your DPS 109 email address and then you will be logged in. So I have created my account previously and I'm all set. So I'm just gonna give you like a little tour of what you'll see inside. On the left hand side, you'll see my classes. This is where you can create your class. You can either manually create a new class by clicking on this yellow button. If you click that, you'll go in here and enter all the information that you want and select create class. That's what I did to create my class down here. The other option is you can sync with Google Classroom. If you click that, it's going to kind of sync with your Google Classroom and you'll see the classes that you can choose from and you can select which class you want. You would select add, I'll just select this one, sync selected classes and then that class would show up. Syncing our rosters with Clever might be an option as well, and we can look into that. Next, let me show you what you can do now that you have your class created. If you click your class, now you'll see that you can add students. If you haven't synced it with your Google Classroom, you could add your students manually. So you would go over here to the right-hand side and select this yellow button that says Add Students. When you do that, you'll see that you could add a single student, add a block, student self-join, and import student list. If you click this one, for example, the student self-join, you're going to get a link. And then you would share this link with your students, either via email or Google Classroom or whichever way you would like. Send that link to them, and once they click on that link, they would log in and they would be connected to your class. Once you have all your students in here, now you can, your students can either log in and just start practicing. You can also assign assignments. So let me show you what that looks like. If you click up here where it says assignments, you'll see that you have another button on the right hand side that says add assignment this yellow button, click that, and then you could add some different types of assignments. You can do a typing lesson, digital literacy, a typing assessment, or a written prompt. Let me show you what typing lesson looks like. So if you clicked this, you would assign it to whichever class you want to assign it to. So you would fill this out, give it a title, you could add a description if you would like. Then let me show you what kind of lessons you could add. You would click select lessons and then you'll get a pull down menu of all the different types of lessons in here. Do you want them to practice the J, F, and space bar? Do you want them to practice the U, R, and K? Whatever you would like, you would select that. You can select a due date that's optional or leave that blank and then you would click create assignment. Just put a title there, create assignment. Okay, so then here are your active assignments. And that's how you can add an assignment. So let me show you what it looks like now from a student's side. So your students would go to typing.com and select student login. Once they get here, they will log in. I'm just going to use my Google login as a student for this example and then once it logs in you'll see what it looks like. I can look at my assignments that my teacher has assigned me that would be the first thing in this blue area and then I can click on start next to the assignment. Anytime you click start you'll see this introduction video all the time they can just click skip video and then the lesson begins and here they would start their, their assignment.
So that's what it looks like when a student is working on their assignment. If they stop, they can always go back and resume. Let's look a little closer at the other options that students have if they want to work on some different things in here. So in addition to the assignments, there are some other tabs up here that they can go through. The second tab is tests. So if they click on tests, they will see some different time tests that they can work on to practice their typing. There's also a games tab. If they click on the games tab, they can go through here and select a game. For example, let's pick this one. When you want to start playing, you'll select play. And then they just type the letters of the word, just like that. And it lets them practice their typing. Just like that. So there's some games that they can select. There's an achievements tab. This gives them kind of an overview of their, their status and their progress. They even have a themes area where they could change the theme. For example, if I wanted to select Princess Adventure, I can select uh, my avatar. And then it just gives a, a different theme to my look. Let's take a look at the student progress that you can view from the teacher side of things. So once you get to your login and you'll click my classes, click on your class, and then you'll see a student tab. You're going to want to click on that student tab. You'll see your students listed in this area. And you'll see a quick overview of things, uh, when their last login is, uh, their typing time. So if you click on the student, you'll get a more in-depth view. Just scroll down a little and you'll see the lessons in, more in depth. So here's the JF Space lesson that they started. They went through 9% of it. And here you can see like the average speed and the accuracy. So here is where you can see some of your progress for your students.